Welcome back to the channel viewers. Uh, doing a video here on a Dodge Dynasty. See right here, you got some rot in the lower coal spring buckets on the rear axle. It's broken right there, it's all rusted out. Anyway, so. We have a 1990 Dodge Dynasty four-door with 173,000 miles on it. In good shape. Uh, four-door, got a nice interior. It's my understanding, the lady that owns this is really in love with this thing. It's been her best car. They've had it since it was new. Uh... This is a client of my client, and he does a lot of work for him uh, on her vehicles to keep them going. But there's just some things he doesn't get into or can't get into. So, so we know we're going to be grinding and welding on this car. So the first thing you want to do is disconnect your battery. Positive, positive first, then your neck. Well, negative first, then your positive. Sorry, the computer on these cars is right there. Not a very good design. So while you're at it, go ahead and clean up your cable ends and your post on your battery. As you can see, I've already done that. All right. So I'm showing you the way I had to do it. Uh, obviously, you want to jack it up. If you don't have a lift in your shop, you want to put it to where the uh, factory jack would go if you had to like change a tire and then uh put your floor jack underneath the center of the rear axle and the whole idea here is get everything out of your way that's possible shocks coil springs mainly so as you can see that's what i've done here so first thing you want to do is get your lower shock bolt out uh 15 millimeter wrench and 15 millimeter uh, you'll probably need a breaker bar to start anyway once you there's the lower shock And that's pretty much all you got to take that is all you got to take off of this side beside, besides the wheel Then you go around to the other side and you got a little bit more to take off shock same location 14 millimeter or 15 millimeter, excuse me uh, don't worry about your metal brake lines because they're soft rubber from this point forward to a certain point so that when you lower your floor jack to lower the rear end, you don't have to worry about kinking your brake lines. All right. Uh, next thing you want to do is you've got this, we'll just call it a pan hard bar to keep the rear axle centered under the car. You take that bolt out, which is somewhere I just had it looks like this goes in back here well it should It'll make a liar out of me oh I know what's going on you got another bracket that goes back to the frame of the body but that's not important right now so you take that loose and then that'll allow you to lower the rear end down as low as I have this one so pop Remove both wheels off the rear. Uh, lower shock mount bolts. Pan hard bar on one end. You don't have to take the other end off over there. There's no reason to. And lower your jack down and you've got room to get your coal springs out. You can remove these if you want to, but you don't have to. Obviously, I didn't. So, there you go. Uh, so, you saw how the other side was... You can see it from here. There's a hole in the lower coal spring bucket. It's rusted out completely. This one is well on its way. Now you might wonder, well, why did you remove the coil springs? Well, yes, I can scab some metal on the bottom here and weld it up and it'd probably be fine. Uh, but you have your anti-squeak rubbers in the bottom. So if you were to go and weld up to that, these are old and you probably can't find them anywhere. So you want to save them if possible. 
because you need to put them back in there. Otherwise, when you got the car back together and you're driving it down the road, you'll have more squeaks and than you can imagine. So you want to save these and uh, so you can reuse them. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. I'll probably do a part two maybe after I get the new buckets done and or whatever I'm going to do there. I hadn't really thought about that yet, but uh, I'm working on it. So that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, hopefully it helped you out. A lot of you probably don't want to go this far into an old car like this because let's, trust, let's face it, these cars are not uh, very desirable. Plus, it's, what, 31, 32 years old. But for those of you that still have these cars on the road and you know you need to at least look at your full spring buckets before you go get it inspected. Now, you could put another axle under it, but it's going to be used. And it's probably going to be in near the same condition. So, that aside, I'm going to try to fix this one if it gets to be too much. Then I'll call the owner and say, hey, I'm going to have to put an axle under this thing. And uh, there you have it. All right, guys. Well, if you like this kind of crazy content, uh, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Hit that little notification bell beside the subscribe button. Click all. That way you'll be uh, notified when I post future videos. You can also check out other different videos I have in my playlist uh, there's a variety of them but uh, anyway if you like this content consider subscribing to the channel give this video a thumbs up any questions comments in the below excuse me comment in the comments below there we go something like that all right uh, all right guys well thanks for watching and until the next one see you later